What's up, y'all? I'm back with some more exciting news with the Diffusion B. Uh, if you have not checked out my first video, look at it and just kind of come back here afterwards. But basically, um, some really brilliant folks made it really, really easy to install Stable Diffusion on your Mac without having to do any coding or no Python or anything like that. You literally just drag and drop an application into your applications folder and run it and you're good to go. So if you haven't got the latest version, uh, they do this pretty often. They update pretty qu uh, quickly, so stay on top of it. But now in the new release, you can actually load custom models. So to get back there, I'll just do that one more time. Uh, I'll put all the links into the description, if not today, in the following days. But basically, you click on the GitHub address here, and under the new releases, they post the new stuff pretty frequently. Like this just changed, like you said, seen there 13 hours ago. So. Uh, here's what's new with this. So it's a new options menu, sound uh, generation, or on generation. So you'll hear a noise when it's all done. Uh, you can, this is a, the big one here, is the ability to add and select custom Dream Booth models. Uh, so they also give a little uh, information down here saying one's a little faster than the other, but one gives you a little better quality depending on which version you're choosing there. Uh, so I kind of went with the better quality um, versus the speed. Uh, I don't mind waiting a little bit. So the, yeah, so you just click on the DMG file, select where you want to you know, have this download to and download it. Then when you double click the DMG, it'll launch the applications and you can drag and drop it into your applications folder. Now, once you have that done, you can launch the application. So I kind of tried this out already just to make sure that it worked correctly and it gave me some really fun results. So uh, this is like a, comic book ver version of one of the uh, models I downloaded, which is, it looks really good. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's really impressive. <laughs> the Arcane one kind of came out a little funny. I like it though, like, the hairstyle, the, this odd colored teeth is, is great. Um, but anyway, so if you wanna download your own custom ones, I'll also put links to uh, some models you can access. Um, there's a few different websites, I'll put some of those in the description. Uh, okay, I'm going to slaughter the name, but yeah, <laughs> Civit AI, and I'll put more links to stuff in here as well, but this one was really fun looking. Uh, so you select the model that you want. I chose the superhero one, I believe, is the one that we just saw. And you do need to create a Hugging Face account, um, which is free to do. It takes a little second to sign up, but once you have that all done, you can download all these, uh, the, the files, the C CPK files, I believe they're, they're called. Um, so the important thing to note is if there's any keywords that you need for these particular ones. So for this one, the train word for this is uh, comic may, uh, these tags also, you wanna include these tags somewhere in your prompt. Uh, so make sure that you have that in your, your prompt early on in the uh, description and then it will use that to make the style. So I just took screenshots of these as well as downloading this in case I forget. So I don't have to come back and keep looking for it. But you download the file. I saved it externally on an external hard drive so I don't use up a bunch of space on my computer, but you can see it can be like pretty large files. Some are like five, some are four you know, gigs, just depending on what model you're choosing there. And I have examples of what stuff looks like and I can I can verify like it actually does look really good like this like the, it's not a BS you know some someone made this up and pretending it looks like this it really does uh, so once you have that all done let me close this out Oops. go back so there's a bunch you can choose there's another one uh, website called prompt hero uh, that has a, a lot of uh, really fun um, prompts for you that you can follow as well as uh, models that you can download. It usually links again to like Hugging Face or uh, GitHub. So with that all being said, I downloaded quite a few just to kind of play around with these like you see in the Arcane style. The really cool looking eyes there and then uh, <laughs> the comic style. Um, to install these, let me get down to that. You click on this little hamburger looking thing at the top here, your settings, and then wherever you have those models saved to. So I have mine saved, like I said, externally, but these are the ones I have installed so far. Um, and I made a little custom folder for it so I just don't lose the thing. 
but you just say add model. And I'm gonna choose, uh, I don't think I did the Archer one just yet. Select open. And it's gonna take a little minute to import the model itself. And again, this is why I screenshotted the other, um, what, the, what the keywords were, because if I don't remember it, then I gotta find it again on that website, so remember what the keyword is for it to trigger this particular model. And once it's imported, it's really, really simple to switch it over. So here was the, uh, the arcane style. Under the, I'm just using image to image for this example. It's still loading right now. But once that's all done loading, it may have finished a while. But once that's all done loading, you go under options. And then uh, like before, you can adjust how many images you want. Um, I'll just keep it to a small amount of images. So it just goes kind of quickly. Um, I know they had some bugs in the slider before. They may have fixed it by now. I don't know, but I know they're in the uh, Discord, they are mentioning there had been some bugs with adjusting the uh, sliders and stuff. So just keep that in mind. So all you have to do is scroll down to Models, Custom Models if you make your own. This is how you would access it as well. And then now that we have it all imported, all of our models will show up down here. So I did the Archer one, so let's choose Archer. And going back to what the original was, this is why it helps to screenshot it. I'll just take a screenshot so I can find that easy later on. So the tags I want to include in here are Archer style, and I can add these other things in here if I want to, Archer, cartoon. So it made it really easy for you, just click on that little copy trained word button there. So now I'll go back to Diffusion B. Now that I have Archer selected, just make sure you have that at the beginning because the earlier you put the words in your uh, prompt, the more strength it's gonna have, the more of, uh, effect it will have in your image. So keep that in mind too. So I'll put that in the very beginning. I'll say Archer style. And get rid of this. I'll keep everything else the same. And uh, looks fine to me. You can add negative prompts, uh, meaning like words you don't want included, like information you don't want. So like you can say uh, too many eyes or something like that. And it'll exclude that from the image. Uh, if you don't want like, you know, an odd number of limbs, you put that in there as well. So it'll make sure it does not include too many eyes in the image or an odd number of limbs. Anyway, so once that's all complete, just hit generate. And again, depending on your computer, it'll take a little minute. And because it chose the higher quality, but a slower processing, it's gonna take a little longer as well. Uh, but so far the results have been really, really amazing. I haven't tried this one, so you and me are both gonna be surprised what this looks like. <laughs> um, so I had to restart this because it took a little minute to load the file, but now it is going smoothly. It loaded the model, almost done generating. <laughs> And you can see in the background, uh, the first one. So let me go to the history. So this is the first version it made. Kind of said Archer style. Gave me a, a little eyebrow piercing for some reason. Let's go back to the image. And your results will vary and it does look like the style of Archer though, I'm not gonna lie. So it has the hair color, which is great. Uh, the overall shape, which is wonderful. And uh, the harder lines, so I'm not mad. Waiting for us to kind of finish the second one. But you can see it doesn't take that long to get this all set up. The longest part is gonna be waiting for it to download and just kind of organizing your files. But you have the style of Archer, Arcane, and comic books and again you can make your own custom models too so it's really no limitation and it's really exciting to see what this thing's going to do um and it can be addicting i'm not gonna lie it could be you know spend hours and hours on this but hopefully this is kind of helpful for people who are brand new to using diffusion b this is the, fir the first time you've ever heard of this thing um again check out the first video i'm making an art piece uh using it and um, hopefully it looks pretty good at the end. <laughs> so a couple more seconds here. Again, there's a faster model, but I wanted the one with the higher quality. And almost done. 
Let's see. Drum roll. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Boom, and that's a little sound effect too. Wow, gave me glasses. <laughs> All right, <laughs> these are great. All right, uh, but anyway, so that was entertaining. So this is the new new Wist update to Diffusion V, but by this time they might release some brand new stuff. So anyway, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, and you know below there, and I will try to link everything to this video uh, sooner than later. All right, y'all. Have a good one.